Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, also known as Pineapple Vegan. As you guys may know, I have been gone for a minute and I know I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, but I have an excuse. With that being said, I hope you guys forgive me. <laughs> In the beginning of my YouTube channel, I used to do reviews where I would go to vegan and non-vegan restaurants and show you guys their options. I wanna start back to why I started and the reason why I started and how I started. The first video in the first restaurant that we're going to review is called Bell's Restaurant and it is located in Dallas, Texas. So they serve high-end plant-based cuisine and the owners of Bell's also created the Little Pine Restaurant and that is located in Los Angeles, California. I have not had the pleasure of trying this restaurant or even visiting there yet. If I hadn't known about it when I went before, I would have tried it then. All right, y'all, so let's start with the restaurant and how it looks. So it's really nice. It's located in a very nice part of downtown Dallas. Very open windows when you come inside. You can see right in, see right out. I love, love, love natural lighting. Perfect spot for lunch dates, romantic dinners, which is exactly what me and my husband did. This was the perfect spot for us because we have not went on a date since the beginning of the pandemic. So this was the perfect like date night. So first we started out with our smoky sangria. And you guys, this drink is so fancy. I felt so fancy when they brought it out because they bring it out on this platter and it has this really big dome lid and it's just full of smoke. And you can't even see the drink, but you just know it's in there and it's just marinating and the smokiness and it's getting ready for you. Second up was I think it was probably my personal favorite. It was the cashew Brussels sprouts. So it was like this plate of roasted Brussels sprouts and they were like covered in these roasted cashews and they had like this drizzle of their house made aioli sauce. And it's the same aioli that they put on their burger. But we are gonna talk about that later. You guys, the flavors in these Brussels sprouts. So I know a lot of people are not Brussels sprout fans but I am because I love cabbage and they just remind me of tiny cabbages. It doesn't seem like you're eating Brussels sprouts. Honestly, it kind of just tastes like you're eating something fresh off the grill. Next up, we had the maki roll. So it's fresh watermelon sushi roll. I know, I said the same thing, watermelon. Watermelon sushi? Okay, first of all, these vegans are tripping. Not everything needs to be turned into a vegan meal. When I tell you that this watermelon sushi roll was phenomenal. I'm ready and I'm fancy. I eat my chopsticks. But my favorite part of the sushi roll was the pickled ginger that it came with. And you guys, it just adds the perfect burst of flavors in your mouth. And next up, you guys, was our main entree. So we got the Bell's Burger, and it comes with fries, obviously, but being who we are, we had to get the ketchup flight, which is a big platter of these multicolored, beautiful fries, and it comes with three different ketchups. And they use a quarter pound of the Impossible Burger, and then it also has their house-made aioli that I was telling you guys about earlier that they put over the Brussels sprouts. So they put that on the burger too, y'all. Oh my gosh. But the absolute best part of this burger, you guys, was the beet and onion jam that they have on it. Don't ask me, I don't know. I just know that it was beet and onion jam. And they put it in this burger and it just gave it this sweet, but zesty and savory and bold balance. And I want another one so bad. I'm just gonna tell you right now, next time I go or every time I go, I'm getting the burger no matter what, and the Brussels sprouts, straight up. But last but not least was dessert. Honestly, if I could, I would eat dessert first, but I know that I probably wouldn't eat the rest of my food because you know how you spoil your appetite. But dessert was these giant, giant, giant chocolate chip cookies that they make in-house. And you guys, when I say they're giant, they are giant. They are like super big and you get two of them and they're so warm and so chewy and gooey on the inside and just crispy and nice on the outer layers. And they give you this tiny little carafe of oat milk, you guys. 
and it's enough for two people but honestly how i feel about oat milk and cookies i, I wouldn't share my milk i would just probably get a little extra milk and get make that person get their own you know but y'all this meal was amazing i had such an amazing experience the manager alan was so so amazing he had such amazing hospitality he showed us around he explained everything to us he handcrafted a lot of these recipes, you guys. He even gets in the kitchen and makes the stuff himself. He's a master chef on his own. But you guys, the staff was phenomenal. The host was great. Our waiter, he was awesome. And just the whole mood and ambiance of the restaurant. Like even when the weather gets better, I can tell that it's gonna be such a big hot spot, even though it already is now. I can't wait to get back out there when spring and summer hits because the outside, they have such vast outside seating. They even have warmers out there for, I guess, when it is cooler. So you guys, this place is amazing. I can't wait to go back to Bell's. You guys, thank you so much for having us. And I love, love, loved everything. I love the entire experience. It was definitely a great first date out after a year of not going out. So you guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. And you guys, I'm going to be doing more of these review videos for you guys, trying out new products, new restaurants, new places, even new, new activities. So stay tuned, you guys. I promise it's gonna be worth all this time that you guys have waited, and I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.